Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Ridwanullah family. Welcome to another episode of Ridwanullah TV, your source to Islamically maximize your life, finance, and work for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Verily, all praise and thanks are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, um, our creator, owner, and sustainer, the one who's worthy of all worship and praise without any association. And may the peace and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon the most esteemed leader and most honorable teacher, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his family, his companions, and those who follow him until the day of judgment. Allahumma ameen. Um, alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, I have something very, very valuable for you to consider today. Um, and inshallah, today we're going to be talking mainly about uh, finance and work, bi-idhanillahi ta'ala. Um, I'm still trying to figure out my content strategy, uh, my content creation and publishing strategy. Um, as of right now, I, I, I'm kind of feeling like I should. Uh, inshallah, what, what would be beneficial to you guys is to talk about life on Mondays and be the nillahi ta'ala, talk about finance and work on Thursdays, be the nillah. Um, so that's what I'll be delivering to you guys as much as I possibly can. If anything changes, I'll be able to update you on that. But for today, I want to talk about what is your vision for your finance and work? Um, this is a topic that we all need to consider and ponder on and think about for a little bit. Um, you know, what, what does that look like when it's complete? And, 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 and um, what is, is the, the goals and results that you can derive from that? Now, your vision is what you dream about, what you think about, what you, where you want to be um, in terms of your finance and work. Um, you know, wh when it comes to your finance and work, it's, it's your income, number one, um, your net worth, number two, as in, and number three, your job, right? Majority of us starts with start off with jobs. Um, and, and number four, which is uh, wor uh, our business businesses right now if if you are in transition you have all four if you're not in transition you only have three so from for, for majority of the individuals especially the entrepreneurs like myself who are starting off they have to think about their income they have to think about their uh, net worth um, they have to think about their jobs that they're currently in and the business that they're building and transitioning into be the nillahi ta'ala so what is your vision there um, and, and, and the rest of your life, right? The, the, the areas that your finances uh, impact. Um, you know, I wanted to just for you guys to think about for a second, where do you want to be? Um, and, and, and I know there's a lot of things that I want to talk about, but just for a moment, just for, the, for this video, I don't want you to think about all the negative things that are happening. I don't want you to think about all the hard work that needs to go into it. I don't need you to think about all of these things. Just, just have a vision, a clear and compelling vision. What does that vision look like for you? Think about that for a moment. For me... As I continue to think about what my vision looks like, for me, I want to be able to produce positive cash flow so I can get out of the hamster wheel of this paycheck to paycheck rat race. That's the first thing that comes to my mind. The second thing is I want to be able to have at least a thousand dollar emergency fund. And the third is I want to be able to pay off all of my debt. And number four is I want to be able to have at least one month of savings as an emergency. And number four, I want to be able to pay off all of my zakah as much as I possibly can, the ones that are due. And number five, I want to be able to be the nillahi ta'ala, go to umrah. And number six, I want to be able to go to hajj, be the nillahi ta'ala. And number seven, I want to have at least three to six months of fully funded emergency fund. Um, and number eight, I believe I'm on, um, I want to be able to save enough money for retirement for old age, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows me to get there. And number nine, I want to be able to save for my kids' college fund. 
And number 10, I want to be able to buy and or pay off a house. Bismillah. And number 11, I want to be able to maximize my, wealth, my, my money and wealth and be so generous in giving sadaqah. Bismillah ta'ala. Um, you know, obviously there's a lot of things in between. But those are the 11 steps that I've picked up from Dave Ramsey and put my own twist to it. Um, and saw that this is the Islamic niche and the Islamic perspective of it as well. I've actually sat down uh, with an Islamic scholar uh, to be able to figure out how to prioritize and strategically systematize these elements of our lives. You know, for me, aside from those main steps in life, you know, I've, I've always been dreaming about going to um, uh, Miami, Florida for at least a full week and enjoy that place. It's always been a dream of mine. Don't ask me where that came from. I don't know. Miami, Florida. Sooner or later, inshallah, you're going to be seeing me record a video from there. And I could sense even someone watching this a, year, a couple of years later, a couple of months later, however long it takes. And seeing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has allowed me to achieve that goal. I want to go to uh, Hawaii, ta'ala. I want to travel to um, uh, Venice, Italy. Um, so many different places that I want to go to. Um, uh, where else? I, I want to go to the, these areas. I, I, can't, I, I don't know exactly where they are, where it's like the clear blue water. Uh, ta'ala. Um, what else? You know, I want to be able to contribute so much. I want to, um, uh, you know, have and build an online business um, that I could, you know, impact individuals across the globe. There's so much that I can think about, um, you know, give, uh, contribute to building um, infrastructures and schools and uh, masajids and, um, uh, you know, so many things that I want to do, bithinillahi ta'ala. But as of right now, um, for the past couple of years, I've just been focused on building the foundation and framework of my success for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But I want you to think about that for a few moments. What is your vision of success in your finance and work? That's where it all starts. If you don't have a vision of where you want to be, you'll have a nightmare. If you don't have a dream of where you want to be, you'll have a nightmare of currently where you are. And that's the reality, living paycheck, paycheck to paycheck, overdrafts, um, you name it, all of these other elements, lazy, not working hard, and all of these things that we're going through every single day. It's a problem. It's a problem that we have to face. And if we don't face this, it's going to be something that will continue on for the rest of our lives. Um, and I see, including myself, we've been, we made a lot of mistakes, our parents, our loved ones, our families, our spouses and children, and so many different things. We've made so many mistakes in this area. But when you have a strong vision, it'll be the roadmap that you could build a roadmap to that vision to be able to achieve that success. I hope I've given you a couple of wisdom uh, insightful breakthroughs bithinillahi ta'ala that you could continue to work on and build on yourself as I continue to work on and build on myself um, and working on being consistent and persistent with it bithinillahi ta'ala I know a lot of people are going through a lot of pain in this place um, I've tried to <laughs> in this area um, you know I've tried to stay away from all the negative stuff and just focus on the positive the, 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 the dream part of it the vision part of it but you know Everybody's going through problems. Everybody's struggling. Everybody's, you know, working through it. And, you know, even if you have money, you're not at peace with it for some reason. Um, that's still a challenge, right? You got to be able to find the balance. And there's so many things to say about it and so many things to come. Bidhanillahi ta'ala. I'll continue to uh, work on helping you guys maximize your finance and work. Um, be the, for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala So continue to work on that Be the as I continue to work on it myself It's very very painful It's frustrating It's complex um, it's, it's just so many things that you have to think about So you really have to continue to work on that Be the ta'ala As I continue to work on mine um, I would love your love and support By showing me your love and support um, You know let me know what you think What are your comments um, are, are you, what is your vision of your dream? Uh, what is your dream vision of success in the area of your 
uh, finance and work. That's what I want to know. Leave your comment below, bidhanillah ta'ala, because I'll let you know mine. It's a little unfair for you guys just to watch it and not contribute. Bidhanillah ta'ala. So leave your comment below. Write your. Leave, <laughs> leave your comment below, bidhanillah ta'ala. Um, and, you know, if you've liked this video, please show your love and support. I want to grow this channel. So show your love and support by pressing the like. Um, that really helps me out. It, let me, it lets me know that I'm delivering value. Um, and if you've liked this video also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel um, and press the notification bell so you can join our Redwanullah family. Um, and leave your comment below, as I mentioned. Um, and if you know someone who's struggling with their finance and work, share this video with them so they could uh, work on maximizing that, maximizing that with, with us as well. Bidhanillahi ta'ala. Jazakumullah khair, Radwanullah family, for tuning in to another episode of Radwanullah TV. I'm your host and life and finance and work maximizer. Hussein Mahmoud checking out by saying, never ever give up on maximizing every single area of your life, finance and work. For the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.